In last class on human anatomy, we talked about basic body proportion. In today's class, describing body proportion in more advanced method. Also, what are the main important difference between male and female joint alignment? And if we understand these differences, it will be very easy to draw male and female anatomy. Follow the class. In beginning of learning joint alignment of human anatomy, in more accurately, it is better to draw columns like this. It is based on 8 heads of the height. Each column is a square. In these 8 columns, draw the head shape in the first one. It should be like an egg shape. So I drew the head in the first column. In second step, I am drawing the second main part of the body that is ribcage. The ribcage is in between line number 2 and line number 3. And it starts just below the line number 1 and end above the line number 3. The shape of the ribcage is like this. Next, I am going to draw the pelvic bone. Pelvic bone is the third important part of the human body. It is in between line number 3 and line number 4. That means column number 4. Pelvic bone is around a circle in shape. Next, I am going to draw hip joints. Hip joint is just above the line number 4 and connecting the outer side of the pelvic bone. Next point is knee joint. Knee joint is just above line number 6 and close to the center vertical line. While connecting knee joint and hip joint, it should be start from outer side of the hip joint and end in inner side of the knee joint. Draw thigh bone in this shape is very helpful to study human leg proportion more perfectly. Next joint of leg is angle joint. Angle joint is in the 8th column and just above the line number 8. And it's also more closer than knee joints. While connecting knee joint and angle joint, follow the same style of thigh bone. Outer side of the knee joint connected to the inner side of the angle joints. Next part is shoulder bone. It is just a little curve in shape and touching the top of the ribcage. Shoulder joints come in the end of the shoulder board that meet the line of the box. Next hand joint is elbow. Elbow joints come just above the line number 3 and also it's crossing the outer line of the box. Then connect shoulder joints and elbow joints with a straight line. Last main joint of the hand is wrist. Wrist is just below the line number 4. That is very important thing while drawing wrist. Then connect elbow joints and wrist joint straightly. Last part is palm. It ends in between line number 4 and 5 or just above the line number 5. Now I finished joint alignments of human skeleton's front figure. That is based on 8 heads type of human anatomy. After drawing next joint alignment, we can recognize which is female skeleton and which one is male skeleton. As drawn as the first skeleton, the head is in egg shape in the first column. The second main part is rib cage. Here it starts in the middle of the second column and end just above the line number 3. Its shape is more narrower than first one. Third main part of the body is pelvic bone that is in between line number 3 and 4. Its shape is more wider than compared with the first one. Hip joints are part of the pelvic bone that is just above the line number 4. Also outer and bottom side of the pelvic bone. Next joints are knee joints and angle joints. Both are in the same position and shape like first skeleton. Next part is shoulder bone. Draw it in a little curve in shape, but its distance is little shorter than the first skeleton's shoulder bone. Accordingly, the shoulder joints are not touching the outer line of the box. When draw the elbow joints, it is above the line number 3 and vertically straight below the shoulder joints. 
and connect the two joints with a straight line. The last joints in the hand is wrist joints. It is below the line number 4 also it is touching the outer line of the box. So the distance between two wrist joints are greater than the distance between the above elbow joints. We can easily recognize which skeleton joint alignment among this is female and which skeleton joint alignment is male. When we recognize the main and visible difference between the male and female joint alignment, it becomes very easy to draw the male and female anatomy. If we compare the height between the male and female, male height is comparatively higher than female. But both of these total height is 8 times of their heads because 8 times of head is an ideal height. In vertical position, there is no visible differences in both female and male joint alignment. This is an important point. Each joint alignment of both the skeleton is in same column number. Here the main and visible differences are in their horizontal shape. There are three important differences between male and female in horizontal shape. First one is ribcage. The male ribcage is more wider than females. Female ribcage is in narrower shape. Second point is pelvic bone. The shape of the male pelvic bone is around a circle in shape. But if observe females, it is much wider than male's pelvic bone. So, Females hip joints distance is wider than males and the width of the males ribcage and pelvic bone is approximately same width. In the same time females pelvic bone is wider than their ribcage. Third important point is differences between both the shoulder joints. Here males ribcage is wider accordingly the distance between shoulder joint is more. So, male's hands are generally in hanging position. It is not too close to body. In opposite position, female's ribcage is narrow in shape. Accordingly, the distance between shoulder joints will be less. So, generally, female's hands are in relaxing position and too close to body. These three are the main difference between male and female skeleton's joint alignment in their front profile. In today's class, we studied the main important differences between male and female anatomy's joint alignment. In next class, how can we draw human body outline by using these basic skeletons? Thanks for watching this class. See you again with another video. Bye for now.